Hi everyone, I'm here to explain the process that I go through when I print from an inkjet printer um, onto deli paper for the purpose of adhering it in and using it in my journals. I had one of my subscribers ask the question, you know, could I go through the process of what I do? So that's what we're doing here. Now this is a piece of jelly paper that I've got here that measures about, oh, 16 inches by 13 inches. So and it comes folded up like that so basically all I do is cut it in half so that it'll fit on my A4 sheet of paper um, you guys here eight and a half by ten what you use in America is fine just cut enough off so that it'll fit oops I've got a bit of ink or paint on that um, so that it'll fit on there with no overlaps because it can't overlap the um, edges of the printer paper. I just use copy paper. Uh, it does need to be attached to another piece of paper, whether it be copy paper or any other paper really, as long as it's um, adhered to something that um, gives the deli paper some substance, something for the printer to um, acknowledge that there's something there. So I'm going to just take this piece. Now what you need to do is attach it on there. Now I normally use repositionable tape but I, don't, I think I ran out so what I'm going to do is place the tape. You can now just put a little bit on the corners and in the middle if you want but I've found that you really need to adhere it to the sides as well because if you don't you're going to get the ink um, running on it so now you don't I don't you don't really have to put it on the bottom um, all depends on how it sits there. Now making sure it's really important that you don't get any bubbles in there because it's going to um, sit up and your printer ink's going to um, smear onto it. So that should be sufficient. That might um, be an issue so I'm just going to try and oh if I had a decent runner it would help. There. Don't let any tape overhang. Okay. Alright, so I've hid that onto the printer paper, copy paper. Okay, so I'm going to sit that in so that it runs through with the deli paper sitting on top. So I'll be back when I print an image. Alright, that's just come out of the printer and that's worked really, really well in that there's been no ink spillage on the deli paper at all. And that's the image. Okay, so I just um, searched for Easter Bunny on Google. Came up with a, an image and just saved it and put it into a Word document and just printed it out. I resized it and then printed it out. Now what it is important to do is to heat set it. So you need to get your heat gun to it and make sure that it is really, really dry. So I'll be back when I've done that. Alright, I've heat set that. So now all I need to do is remove it. And that's where the repositionable tape comes in handy. If you've got a bigger image there, that would help. Now what I could do is probably heat this and melt the glue, the tape, and then bring it, um, peel it off. Now you just use this um, for your journals, you know, so you don't seep onto the next page. So just slot that in there like that next time you do a journal page. 
so there we go that is our printed image onto deli paper I'll just zoom in there you go see how see-through that is so it would be great on a background all right what I also did was I printed a, another bunny onto the other sheet of deli paper that I just adhered onto the top and not the sides and you can see here and this was a good print considering what it could have done here and there ink blotches see that that's from the printer because it wasn't um, flush and secured down with tape on the sides as well so it is important to tape down at least the top and two sides I tend to tape down the top the sides and the bottom um, but anyway now you should also think ahead because this is such a waste of uh, paper deli paper because there's only one little image on there this here I could have printed on as well another image but there you go so alright now with deli paper you should be able to quite easily take a watercolour brush or any brush really paintbrush and then dip it in water water and just brush around um, the perimeter of your image taking care not to go over any of the printed image what we're trying to do is wet the deli paper enough so that we can tear it without ripping the, any part of the image okay so let that soak in for a little bit and then we should be able to tear it without tearing the image so fingers crossed and that gives it a a nice frayed edge not a cut edge which is too harsh and I find more difficult to blend the image into the page than if it was feathered like this so see how easy that's coming away and it's not um, ripping or tearing the dried areas Okay, just be mindful that you may get your fingers wet and don't touch the ink on the image. Okay, so you put that aside to use another day. Okay, now we need to heat set that before we do anything else. Okay, heat set. Now let's put it onto a background. Say this is your page and you're going to adhere it there like that. So let's get rid of that little bit there. I'll grab now, that's very lightweight, so a bit of um, fluid matte medium should do the job. You can use um, gel medium if you like, it's a bit thicker but um, because it's a fairly light piece of paper I'm just going to use fluid matte medium so I'm just going to put a bit on my palette and grab a brush now I tend to put the matte medium on the back of the image so I brush it on the back of the image I also like to put it on the page and then I will stick it down now be mindful that you could get bubbles in this now very carefully just press down 
the edges with your brush trying to remove any bubbles that are still in there okay so it's a few creases sometimes you just can't get away from it now see that i've wet that so it's starting to run so you've got to be very careful some images are fine others not so great Okay, so that's a huge bubble. I haven't put that down too well. That's okay. Now, the reason that there's a bubble there is because I haven't um, put any glue on that area by the look of it. Okay. Let's get under there. There we go. That looks pretty good. Over here. And you can see that that's blended in quite not quite nicely. Okay, so you've got to be very careful when you're putting the matte medium on the edges there of your deli paper when you're sticking it down to the page because it will run. But there you go, easy. So there's your image using deli paper and you've got the blue background in there now what you could do then is just well, dry it and then um, sort of blend it into the background with your colors again if you wanted to but um, like you could paint over that I haven't got the colors that I used on that one so I won't try it but yeah just paint over the edges a little bit to blend in the colors that you've got there and done Alright, so inkjet printer is all I use, just a cheap one, um, onto deli paper, which is adhered to copy paper, with removable tape preferably, and voila, easy. Alright, if I haven't covered anything, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching guys, bye.